What's up guys, Coach Corey here. Um, we're gonna go over our final set in our offensive strategy. So this one's gonna be called Purple. Um, in the last video, I kinda went over how to get into Purple, but I'll do it again real quick, that way you can understand the different formations that we set up in order to get into our Purple. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna call a blue, that MIDI comes down on a crease, this MIDI slides back, this MIDI pops over, creating our one, three, two. Again, just rotating triangle for the middies. Now I'll call red, which is the same thing, just opposite with attacking. So he pops down, he kicks back, and he comes over, creating our two, two, two. From our two, 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 I'm going to yell a yellow. Uh, attackman kicks out to one side or the other. Midi kicks out to the to the other side. creating our yellow, which is another open offense, but three guys on each side rather than three up top and three down low. Um, from there, I'm gonna call our purple. Now purple is gonna be the mixture of red and blue together. So again, just like in the last video, what we're gonna do, as soon as I yell purple, this top midi is cutting to crease. At the same time, this back attackman is cutting to crease. And they're going to work on the crease now. And then the attackmen and the middies are just going to go at center. So the attackman pops back to X. This midi just moves over. And this attackman just goes back to X, creating our 1-4-1. One, one. So we got one guy at X, four guys across the middle, one guy up top. Again, same thing on, as far as offense goes. We're always passing the ball around the perimeter looking to feed the guys in the crease. The crease guys are always working back and away from where the ball's at, trying to get open, using each other as picks, you know, hands up, looking for the ball, looking to shoot and score. So, but from here, now we gotta figure out how we get out of it and go back into, uh, go back to one of our other offenses. <clears throat> so, chances are, I'm normally gonna just yell orange whenever I want us to go back into our, our basic open. Um, just because it's easy for us to remember orange, we've, we've do it, we do it a lot, so it's easy to just go back to orange. So in that situation, what we need is the guys on the crease, just like in all of our rotation, the guys on the crease are always going to pop back to, that, uh, to the opposite corner of where they were to begin with. So if I yell orange, this attackman just pops back here, and then this midi pops back out here, and then the midi and the attackman on the wings are simply going to just drop back to where they were originally. And that'll put us back in our orange around the outside just by cutting those guys back out to the opposite corners. And it's still the rotating triangle because this, if you remember, this attackman came in on that cut to begin with and this midi came in from here. So he just completes that, that triangle and then that midi is just going to pop back. The top midi just kind of stays where he's at. The importance of keeping this top midi where he's at is in case we miss a pass or they make a save, we always need at least one player up top to stop fast break opportunities. So he's kind of always just kind of moving back and forth, you know, making sure if the cutters miss that, miss a pass and it gets out past them, he needs to be there to back them up. So that's basically it. That's how you go from a purple into an orange. Just finish your rotations. Our offense should be pretty simple. Um, for the most part, guys, it's just rotating triangles. You know, our whole offense is really just rotating triangles. It's always the same rotation, always the same cutters. Um, and then just understanding where your other teammates are on the field. That way you can kind of, you know, play off them and play with them to, to make sure that we're getting good passes so we can take good shots and get them on goal. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, I think, it, I think it's great. I think it's going to work great. This ends up giving us, I think, six different sets, which almost, you know, I don't know any defenses really that are going to be able to cover you with six different sets. Typically, most teams just play with one set offense. Um, either the 1-3-2 or a 2 3 one, however you want to look at it, is typically what most teams play. So by being able to go through six different sets, the defense are going to be so confused, they're not going to know what to do. We're going to be able to get good ball movement, good passing around the perimeter, and then really good shots on goal because we'll be able to feed these guys on the crease as we confuse the defense. So thanks for watching these videos, guys. 
Um, if you got any questions about them, just bring them up to me at practice. Uh, if not, go back and kind of watch the videos again, just to make sure that you know the understanding of how to rotate, what you're what you're doing uh, once you rotate, you know how to work the crease and all that kind of stuff. And we'll have a very successful se season. So, thanks for watching these videos, and we will see you at practice. Bye.